What's going on, Baku crew? Baku Brad96 here with another Bakugan mail in. That's right, another trade came through and the package is here. So, a huge shout out to Graham for this trade. I am super stoked about it. Now, last video, I did unbox those two epic fusion Bakugan I missed out on. Jay the Human, those were perfect, no problems at all, and I am so thankful. But for this video, I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into it because I am just so stoked. So, obviously, for safety reasons, I do use Discord server names. So, at Graham, your package did arrive. Thank you very much. Doesn't seem like there's any damage, though. I do feel there is an open Bakugan in here. So, somebody hit metal, but no worries. I'm sure everything is fine. Let's go ahead and get this thing cracked open and see what surprises are inside. Of course, I know it's supposed to be in here, but I don't think any of you do. Oh, I see stuff. I'm seeing stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's more. There's more. That is what I'm talking about. So in case you all can't tell, this... Well, let me, let me just pop. There we go. This here is the mythic Nelius, not the uh, the weird Walmart exclusive mythic battle pack, which I did pick up. I will be unboxing that later on, but this is the five below, I believe, exclusive translucent mythic Nelius. Oh, look at that. So just a little fact for everyone who watches that doesn't know, um, I live in Washington State and there's no five below here so mythic bakugan i have no idea where to get them i have no idea how to get them so to be able to trade for this bad boy and to get him is just epic this is a translucent mythic nilius now this is the battle planet mold which i thought was really cool that they brought back for the mythic bakugan um that you do get those og you know nostalgic battle planet bakugan because it has been a while now right like 2019 2018 ish I can see how these are already like rare or collectible. Um, not the mythic, but I'm just talking about the molds. You know, Battle Planet in itself is getting older now. Uh, but yeah, so really cool. They do use the translucent black plastic, as you can see there when I get up into the lighting. Oh, look at that. It is just so epic. Oh, I cannot believe it. It is just awesome. I am stoked. That is amazing. And then what else is here? Oh, that's right. It is a Tertonium Ultra. Fun fact, probably was my favorite Battle Planet Bakugan before the release of Pegatrix Ultra. Uh, just because in the Legacy series, Juggernoid was one of my favorites, being the, you know, chunky turtle. Um, this series, we have a ton of turtles. There's Colossus, Tertonium, Remparion. But uh, Tertonium definitely stands out to me just because of the little doof eyes. Look at that little doofy face. He just looks adorable. He's chunky in himself. He definitely looks like a turtle. And uh, when playing, you know, that little back piece there has quite the spring. So it had one of the coolest Bakugan Ultra actions and it would really flip over. Um, later on in the video, I might actually try to get that to happen. But just for now, this is a Battle Planet Tertonium Ultra. One of my favorites. An epic Bakugan. And the good news doesn't stop there. So I am going to go ahead and review the character stats right quick before I get on with the rest of the epic news. I'm sure you would all appreciate it if I put those on camera for you to see. A flip around the channel mascot. All right. So Mythic Nilius, they did change up. They did give it better stats. This time around, Nilius has double helix core, B power of 600 with 6 damage, which... Don't you just love to see that? And for the first time, I am noticing they do have a little a little mythic thing right there. So someone let me know in the comments down below. Because that mythic thing is right there, does that mean you cannot use this Bakugan's Evo cards? Um, because again, I could be completely wrong. I've never like handled mythic Bakugan. This is my first time with my first mythic. But that looks like the same artwork as the Battle Planet Nilius. I know all the stats are different. But because the artwork is the same, can you still use the Evos? Uh, because if you can, I do have a Titan Nilius, and that would be sick. Um, otherwise, yeah, I, I guess I could see why you couldn't. But moving forward, 600 B power and 6 damage is epic. Um, 600 B power is manageable when you have double helix. You know, you can get the plus 600, minus 3, have 1200 B power and 3 damage. Um, 
But it gets better because this Nilius has built-in reroll, which everyone should love, especially brawlers like me that don't always hit the core. Um, so yeah, really huge to be able to reroll your Bakugan. And then on Helix, you get to add a Baku core from the field to your active Bakugan. So if you have Nilius hit a Helix, you're going to get another Baku core, which is going to be able to trigger Nanogon because you'll have two Baku core. So a potential turn one Nanogon viable Bakugan. Mythic Nilius right here. I'm already thinking about the epic combos. Um, at Grim, I think you mentioned using Mythic Nilius with your Leonidas deck. Are you still using Mythic Nilius in that deck? I'm not sure if you've switched it out yet or not, but I am definitely going to be using Mythic Nilius for some kind of deck strategy. You know, probably Leonidas Helix 2 because Double Helix is just super good. Um, really, really awesome. I like how they gave uh, the Battle Planet Bakugan new stats. It's it's really cool. They kind of beefed him up a little bit, fixed power creep in a way. Now the Teratonium Ultra stats, for those of you interested, Magic Shield and a Green Fist Core, well, Blue Shield, or a Green Fist Core, B power of 500 with 3 damage, so it wasn't the best, it wasn't the greatest, it was just kind of in the middle, you know, during Battle Planet. Having access to the blue shield was nice, giving you 650, that would bring you up to 1150, which for the time was arguably okay. But of course now, Tertonium, poor little Tertonium, you would just be ran right over. Um, still adorable, can we get a shout out for that artwork? Look at the cute little turtle. That is why Tertonium is just so awesome. But then to make things even better, an Evo card I have been trying to find forever, and that is the Titan Tertonium Ultra. Yeah, yeah! Four energy for a B power of 1,015 damage. That's right, 15 damage on an Evo. But when you play this, you have to discard your hand, which there are plenty of strategies. You know, in Battle Planet, they did have that discard mechanic where you would discard certain cards and you would get payoffs, abilities, or their effects anyway. Sadly, I don't have any of those cards. I am going to be building a Tertonium deck that just rips your own hand and you don't even care because all of your cards are low cost. So I'm thinking of a Darkest Aquas Chaos deck that has energy cost 4 and below. That way, it would ensure that I would be able to drop my Tertonium Ultra without worrying about losing my hand. So yeah, really awesome and check out that artwork. I really like the artwork a lot because Tertonium just got spiky. like. They took my turtle boy, and they gave him spikes, so, I mean, that is just epic, right? And what rarity is this? These are really nice. They're not hex, are they? Oh, they are! I can see the hex, so they're hex rarity. Hollow hex or something like that, right? Awesome. These are just phenomenal. Thank you so much. I am digging the Baku mail-ins. That is wonderful. Can't wait to put these into a deck. I don't know, so, so Baku crew. I might have to build a uh, retro Battle Planet throwback deck and, uh, I don't know, maybe play it, compete with it, something. I have no idea. But these are epic, and I'm certainly not going to miss the opportunity now that I have them. Again, Grim, thank you so much. This is awesome. I appreciate the support so much from you guys. It is just phenomenal. I do not have the words. I just, I honestly do not have the words. But with that being said, I do want to go ahead and try a little rollout here for my brand new Tertonium and my Mythic Nelius. Now, I do have a Tertonium, so I didn't necessarily need the Tertonium figure, but I was very grateful to get it because I could possibly customize the spare or just fold up Finica there. There we go. Or I could just use it multiple times over, maybe have a display piece, that kind of thing. But for those who are interested, here is the Mythic Nelius' ball form. Again, really nice with that translucent plastic. It is just looking so epic. Digging Nelius. And then Tertonium. I know some of my viewers might have missed out on Battle Planet. So to fold Tertonium, it's really interesting. You know, you want to put the feet in. And then the tail in. The head in, which you can put the head in first, but I always put the feet in because they're kind of hard to hold because you have to hold everything together. See? Yep. That's it. Yep. Hold it all together. Oh. Wait for it. Okay, so once you have everything held together, then you want to throw the shell down. 
and the shell locks everything in place and that is Tertonium Ultra in ball form you can see the little head there the bottom really cool Bakugan and a really cool design in general just the way it folds up and everything and really detailed like the shell on top really looks like a turtle shell the way they did the plates looks really nice all right time for some rollout I have no idea which one to start with first so I'm gonna start off with Tertonium and I missed. Oh, I didn't miss. I hit the gate card. Wow, I hit that gate card more than anything, I swear. Uh, quick little redo here. Set that gate card there. Because you know what? I'm not going to hit it again. I'm not doing it. It's just not going to do it in this video. I will not hit the gate card again. So, try again. Here we go. Rolling out Tertonium. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's that epic pop open action that the Bakugan Ultra were supposed to debut. That was a perfect flip. I wish I could have got that in slow mo. I might have to go back and slow down the footage just so you could all see how epic that was. Yeah, that was killer. That's what I love Tertonium for right there. All right, now then, going to roll out. Mythic Nelius. Oh, which, uh, Agrim, just so you know, um, when I closed them all, they were open in the package, but they're all perfectly fine. Obviously. Like, no damage, so yeah! Here we go. Nelius in three, two, one, bro! Oh, that, that was, that was pitiful. Oh, ouch. You know what, I'm gonna, like, hang my head down in shame on that one. You all can't see, but that was shameful. So, I'm going to try one more time here. Really, Nelius? Like, really? Really? I'm on camera, and I'm recording, and this is happening. Like, this is just bad luck. Okay, one more time, I swear. What? No! No, I refuse. Okay, there we go. I did it. You see that? You saw that? I rolled it. We're good. But, uh, yeah, just, uh, see, I just told you all I wasn't the best, uh, the best brawler. Um, I am practicing, so... Let's see, there's the magnet, go this way, back, two cards, okay. I'm going to start it on its heads and see if that makes any difference putting the magnet on top. It doesn't seem like it did, I don't know, of course I can't really get a good roll to it. Here we go, one more time. Okay, so Nelius is just being temperamental, but there we go. Awesome Bakugan, regardless. For those of you who didn't click off during that epic fail, thank you all for your continued support. Don't forget to drop a like down below, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that big red button, because as the channel continues to grow, I will definitely make better content, get better stuff, and just continue to grow myself. So the support is definitely appreciated, definitely needed, and I couldn't do any of this without all of you. So thank you all so very much. Until next time, stay safe. Drome up and Bakugan brawl. But, uh, you know, make sure you land your brawls. Don't be like me. Don't be like Nelius.